Let's take a look at the electronic filing process or e-filing for 1099s. On my reports page, if I scroll down under 1099 contractor forms, once I have printed my forms, I'm going to click e-file 1099s. Note that this e-filing window is only available for a limited time between January 1st and March 31st. For Form 1099 NEC, which is the new form for 2020, you must e-file by January 31st and also distribute copies to your contractors by January 31st. Form 1099 MISC for the other types of payments must be e-filed by March 31st. However, you still need to get copies to your contractors by the earlier date of January 31st. So getting forms to your contractors is always going to be January 31st, but depending on the type of form, the e-filing deadline might be different. So before I proceed with my e-filing, I'm going to make sure that I have finished all of my contractor payments for the year. I have reviewed my contractor list and confirmed that the Create 1099 column is set to Yes for everyone. And I'm also going to run the 1099 information report to make sure all contractors either have an EIN or SSN added to their record. Before I continue, I also want to note the annual e-filing fees. These fees only apply if you have our basic payroll software or if you are an accounting only customer. If you are a full service payroll customer where Patriot files your tax filings for you, you are eligible to e-file for free. You still need to go through this process as a full service customer so that Patriot does do the e-filing for you. So I'm going to go ahead and click I'm ready to e-file. This page will show the state that each of these contractors are located in. The IRS has a combined federal state filing program. For states that do not participate in the program, you will see not supported. Here is a list of the states that participate in this program. Keep in mind, even though states do participate in this program, you will still want to check your state's requirements for 1099 e-filing. Also, this combined federal state filing program only applies for Form 1099 MISC. The new Form 1099 NEC unfortunately does not participate in this program at all, which means any 1099 NECs that you e-file will only be filed with the IRS federally. However, you will still need to file your 1099 NECs with each state. So once I have reviewed all of my contractors and the state that the 1099s will be filed with, I will click continue. Here you will see a summary of each of the 1099 form type, either MISC or NEC, the contractors that are reported for each of those forms, and whether Patriot will also be filing with the state. You'll notice for the 1099 NEC, Patriot is not filing with the states because the IRS has not made that available. Once I review everything for accuracy, I will click I agree that all information provided is accurate to the best of my knowledge and click Submit. I now see a confirmation message at the top, your 1099s were electronically submitted. There is an e-file status column that will show as pending until the next business day when we upload your files. The status will then change to Uploaded. If you have any further questions, click Get Help at the top of any page.